sorry it's been a while since my last posting, but as you guys know, things get a little crazy. So I finally decided to do another trunk club order. And this time I took my own advice. I switched stylists. My sister loved her stylist, so I contacted her directly and asked her if I could switch. And it was super easy. There wasn't this awkward, like, hey, I don't wanna be with you anymore. I wanna be with this person, you know. Kind of like a relationship you had to kind of break up with this one to be with this one but anyways i got a new stylist and i was really pleased with what she decided to send me is our communication was a lot better but also maybe it was her style or what she thought my style was that seemed to fit a lot better with um, my vision my trunk came with 10 items i had told her just i wanted things for fall um, so she sent me a great list of items um, some of them didn't work as far as the fit goes but I did like the style so I will continue using her um, it's just kind of hit or miss because I am so tall is there's things that just don't look right on me and everybody kind of has their quirk of what things look good on them and what doesn't but anyways let's get into it the first item she sent me was this poncho which I really, really loved. It's by Caslon. Um, it's very flowy. It's nice because if you do live in a warmer climate like I do, is it something that I could wear a tank top underneath with some really cute leggings and um, like tall boots for the winter? And it just be kind of flowy and casual but then I'm not overheating. If you live in a colder environment, this is great because you could wear a long sleeve shirt underneath it and be a lot warmer. Um, the neck is pretty chunky and high, so it's one of those outfits that you definitely wanna wear with a ponytail because um, there's just a lot of fabric right here. So if you're not the type of person that likes fabric, I would definitely pass on this. But this is an, an item that I am considering keeping um, as it was pretty cute. Another item that I tried on was this shirt from Socialite. This one is a size small. Is I am considering buying this, but actually sending it back in this trunk and having her send me an extra small. Because as you can see on the try on part of this is that it was very baggy. Um, and also this is very low cut. So I'm hoping with the um, smaller size that maybe this goes up a little bit because then it, the detail on it's very cute and, and different and it's kind of the right price point. The next one was this shirt by Two by Vince Camuto. Um, I did like this. This was very cute for like running errands. Um, as you can see, it's kind of the, um, the style where things aren't lined up. And it's very cute. Uh, being that I'm tall, I wish that it was just a little longer. Um, but it's something that I would consider buying if it was a little cheaper too, because I feel like at the price point that it's at right now, for running errands, it's not really, I think, where I wanna spend my money. Here's another shirt by Vince, by two, by Vince Camuto. This one was very cute too. On the picture that she had sent for the preview is I thought that it was gonna be more of a sweater material, but it's definitely more of like a, a t-shirt material. So it's, it's very thin. Um, it does get kind of wrinkly. Um, this also I wish was a little longer as you can see in the preview is for somebody, I'm 5'10", somebody I think like 5'7 and below, this would look really cute because it's gonna hang over kind of like your butt area and it, it'll flow a little bit nicer. Um, so this I will pass on, but it is definitely in the, the style range that I was looking for, just not the right fit. Then this Peplum Top by Caslon. This one was cute in theory, but this actually is a size small and it's very wide. Um, and it's a weird kind of wide, so it's not like flowy, but it's just wide. So um, I'd be curious to see what an extra small would look like, but I'm not in love with it enough to have her send me the extra small. Um, but it is comfy and cozy, so another great outfit for the weekend or for running errands. 
Um, also, I think it would look cuter if I was shorter. So this definitely is an adorable top. Um, just definitely size a size smaller than what you usually go for, and I think then it would be a cute fit. The next one was the um, jeans by DL in Bridget. I had never tried on DL before, and I'm or DL 1961, excuse me. I never tried them on before. They actually are a really great fit. They're very soft. They remind me a lot of seven jeans because of just kind of like the feel and stretch to them. I think that they would be good um, maybe to keep shape. Uh, let me know if anybody's actually tried these. If you wear them for a while, do they get baggy or do they actually keep the, the tight fitting that you want? Um, this, the, the style, ugh, not for me. I do not like the cutouts on the side. And also, once again, I'm about three inches too tall for this. On the preview, it showed a cute model wearing high heels with these and they hung over her ankle and these are like capris on me. So this was a no-go. But a brand that I am interested in um, if there's any taller girls out there, please let me know of any brands that have long inseams. I'm just really struggling. Uh, I recently made a, an online purchase for White House Black Market jeans because they come in long. So I'll let you know how those fit um, when they arrive and see if those are a little bit better because I'm kind of just sick of wearing things that are, thank goodness it's the style to be a little bit above the ankle, but I'm ready to cover up my ankles. So if I can find a good pair of jeans that are tight fitting and stay tight, that would be worth the investment. Uh, she sent me another uh, DL 1969 jeans. Uh, this one is in the Florence. Um, once again, I, I did like the fit of these. Uh, they were just too short. And so for the, the price point of $178, um, if they were two inches longer, sold but for um, them not fitting right, no, I'm gonna have to send these back as well. Then she sent me these Wit and Wisdom um, pants. These are a really interesting brand, is these pants are awesome because they actually have elastic on the inside, so it's nice that you don't get that weird gap when you have everything else tight, and then you have to either wear a belt or just kinda hangs out. So this definitely gives a nice snug fit. Um, I am considering keeping these as well. Um, my only concern is, I, once again, I feel like I have so many pairs of pants, um, but they're not really pants, they're capris, and uh, I, I think I'm just ready. I'm like past the capri ankle phase, I'm ready to move on to, um, now that it's getting to be fall and winter, to cover up my ankles and something that actually like is long enough for me. So for 70, I think these are $78 or $68. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should keep these or not? Uh, please comment below and let me know and uh, we'll see what I'll do. Then last but not least, last but not least, she did send me um, a pair of boots. Is this is um, Blondo? I have never actually heard of this brand before and had never tried them on. Um, here are the boots. These were actually ridiculously comfortable. So I, I did like these a lot. Um, for the price, I don't know. I'm kind of still on the fence. Is they, they're beautiful, but um, I'm not quite sure how much use I get out, of, get out of them until I find pants that I feel are long enough is I feel like wearing these with the current situation I'm in with the pants is it just makes it look kind of silly because I have like this gap of skin here that needs to be covered up. So once I can figure out the pant situation, I think then I will buy boots. So I will put these on my list as a brand that I am interested in, but for this trunk, I'm definitely gonna pass on these and um, hope for something else that comes along. My favorite 
purchase an item in this trunk was definitely the Leith dress that came in burgundy. I absolutely adore this fit. It's t-shirt material, so it, or cotton. It just fits like a dream. Definitely size, um, order to your size. If you want more of a looser fit, go up a size. But I actually um, went to the store and tried on the size up and it kind of hung a little weird. Um, so the size small, which I'm wearing, um, which she sent to me actually fits perfect. And as you wear it for an hour or two, everything kind of stretches anyway. So then it becomes a definitely a really nice fit is originally I had my eye on this piece for a long time and I wanted it in gray or black, but she sent me burgundy, which kind of blew my mind. That's, I love it. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't have ever chosen it, but as you can see is I've been able to style it multiple different ways it kind of just fits with everything and it's not just your usual black or gray um, so it kind of adds a pop of color to any outfit and you can pair it with a scarf or a jacket or wear it plain wear it with boots wear it with flip-flops it's, it's just kind of a versatile piece i am thinking about ordering um another one in another color uh, but we'll see if I can venture out beyond my black and gray and see if there's another color that works great um, with my wardrobe as well. So I do encourage everybody, because um, it is flattering on all sizes, I believe, um, to go try this dress. And it's only $56, so you can't beat it. Um, so that was a big win for this trunk. Um, I look forward to keeping my subscription going. And um, I hope that this has helped all of you as well as that a lot of times if you get stuck with um, not finding great things, the Switch Stylus is, it's an easy situation, but um, you get a lot of great new items. And the neat thing about Trunk Club is it kind of brings you out of your bubble and they sometimes send you colors that you wouldn't think of trying, but in the end, they actually work better than you had originally thought. Please let me know how your trunk club experience is going and if you have any tips as well. And if there's any brands that have kind of um, caught your eye recently as I'd love to hear about them as I like to try new things and um, venture out. So I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.